All right, signing distributors. Have you ever heard the quote, you are the average of the five closest people to you? All right, so when we first get in this business, you go right, right to your warm market. You obviously have found an incredible opportunity and you want to bring your closest friends with you. Those closest friends have a lot to do with who you are. You know, you attract use. When you have already brought your warm market in and you really start um, reaching out to your cold market, I like to target my, I like to target my potentials. I am looking for that average, that average of the five of my best friends. And some of the qualities that I look for are an eye catcher, intriguing. So I really like people that are out there. If you guys don't know me, I'm a little bit out there. <laughs> I put myself out there. And I like to find people that are out there because then I don't have to worry about them being afraid of putting themselves out there. And that's one of the biggest qualities that I really look for. Um, positive. I like to I love positivity. I love to inspire people. And when I see other women doing that, it really shows selflessness. It shows that they just want they want to inspire other people. They're a positive person. That's definitely a characteristic that I want in a distributor. Spontaneous. So when you see this, you're probably, maybe you're questioning why spontaneous, all right? So in this business, I have found that it is very spontaneous. Um, you know, when I'm blitzing or if I'm just randomly going to message somebody or if I'm going to come up and talk to somebody, I need that spontaneity within me to have that confidence. And so when I look for people on social media, I'm looking for people that um, step out of the box. They go, they're, they're kind of busy, but they're um, doing different things. They're, they're seeing, they're going places, different places. They're spontaneous just in general. Um, coachable. So it's a hard quality to visually see if people are coachable or not, but I have been able to see in statuses, you know, them ask questions and or them learning something on social media. But coachable is something that you're really going to see if they have that quality once you're already in the conversation with them. Busy. I kind of just talked about this before, but I do like busy people. Busy people know how to get done. Really, I love busy people because multitasking in this business, especially if you have a mom, if you're a mom, or if you're going to school, or if you have another job, multitasking is an amazing characteristic, especially if you're going to add this to your plate. So those are the five qualities that I look for. I kind of, when I, ever I train teammates, because they're like, well, I don't know who to go for. All right. So remember when we were all younger and we were ordering men like pizzas, like I need a six foot four, you know, dark haired, blue eye, like drives the truck. <laughs> well, that's kind of what you're doing when you're looking for potentials. Think about who you are targeting. If you're in college, are you targeting college students? Um, you know, it's like I am in my 20s and I do not target moms. Moms do come to me, but I don't specifically target moms because I want to find Lachelle. So I try to really target on Lachelle's, but really think about who you are targeting. Um, that has really helped me instead of just like looking and not really knowing what I'm looking for. You know, there's been times where I'm just looking, I'm just looking for somebody. I'm just like looking for that diamond to pop up. But when I'm specifically looking for someone, that's when I'm able to find them so much more easier and I'm not wasting time just looking for, I don't know what I'm looking for. So some of my top tips for signing people, um, social media before you got involved with it works. Think about it like this. Before we got involved with it works, I was on Instagram and I had those Instagram friends that like had, we had never met each other before. We just followed each other and we had like this agreement that like, you're going to like my pictures. I'm going to like your pictures. You're going to comment on my pictures. I'm going to comment on your pictures. And we were like social media best friends. What we did there is we made an impression on each other and it was kind of like an agreement to always show each other love. So that's really important with building social media relationships. You really want to make an impression on them. You really want it to be a back and forth thing. You want to make them feel good. So go make people feel good. I tell people all the time, you know, think about those times when you've posted a selfie and a ton of people have commented on and be like, oh my God, I love your hair. I love your makeup. I love your lipstick. How does it make you feel? It feels good, right? So go make people feel good. Um, establish trust. Let them see and hear you. So social media, you know, we've heard about catfish and all those things, you know, social media, since it is a very virtual world, we're kind of like Sims. So don't be afraid to voice message. Don't be afraid to send videos. Uh, many times, I don't know how many times I have actually, um, asked to just FaceTime. Let's just FaceTime or let's, or let's, um, Facebook, 
video because I want them to see me. I want them to know I'm real. And it's so much different than hearing my excitement and hearing me talk than to just write it out because they don't hear my tone. And I think tone has a lot to do with trust. All right. I want them to know that I'm confident. I want them to know that I know what I'm talking about and that I'm excited. And I do think that they'd be really good at this. Um, follow up with words, not scripts. This is like something that I see all the time. We all get like, we'll find a really great script, all right? And you can send it out because it's easy. Don't forget that there's a person on the other side and you really want them to be that person. I never follow up with scripts. I follow up with me. I'm going to follow up with them. I'm going to use my wording. And I usually like to follow up after I've gone to their profile so that not only am I following up, I'm also adding some type of um, something I've already, that I've seen that's going on in their lives. So it's actual actually a conversation of value. Um, ask them why and what. I love this. Cassie Nero actually did a training and ever since she said this has been stuck in my mind and it's an amazing advice. So when you are talking to somebody, either you approach them or they approach you, make sure that you know their why and their what. Why do they want to do this? What, what is going to be their why? What's going to, what's going to really drive them to be successful in this business? And what has, what made them want to do this? The reason being is that when you do go to follow up, knowing those two things, you are able to bring it up to make them um, consciously aware of their why and what. So when you're following up, you're able to remind them why they want to do this business or what makes them want to get involved. And you're setting that, you're setting that reminder in their mind. Um, and then show them the opportunity and what it will do for them, not for you. That is so important. Always remember that when you were talking to potential distributors, it's not about you. It's not about your team. It's not about your chart. It's not about your future. It's about theirs, all right? It's about theirs. You are not going to get people to join your team. You are going to get people. You want to make sure that you have, you show them the opportunity and what it can really do for them and what it, how successful they can be and how it can change their life. So really make sure that you are looking and focusing on them, not you, all right? People don't want to hear about you. They want to know, they want you to talk to them about them. So hope those helps. Those are my tips for signing distributors.